Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Marcus McShannon. I'm going to do my little commentary today. And, you know, for the three people that see this, it may not mean much. I'm going to try to break it down real easy, just in my little opinion, okay? All those people that went to Charlottesville, Virginia, who followed these racist a-holes, the Klan members and the Nazi urge and all of them, you know what? It was It was just sickening what happened. The person that died and all the people injured because this fritter that fucks his mom every day, let alone his sister, ran into them. Got in his car and thought he was a martyr or something. That's terrorism. Now, here's my point. The Klan and all other E's and urge they have the right to get together and they can say whatever they want here in America. Okay? Ignore these cock-sucking douchebags. Do not show up to their events. It doesn't mean that you're not fighting for rights. So if you're a Black Lives Matters or, you know, gay organizations or other social helping other type of situations, ignore these motherfuckers. Because when they come out of the hall or wherever they're doing their shit, they're expecting protests. One little thing would trigger something off. Then you got a black guy beating the shit out of five birds. Whose fault is going? Okay? Who's going to get the blame for it? If nobody's there, don't worry about it. You know, I'm used to be calling the N-word. You ignore it. Walk away. Have some balls. Don't let these fuck faces, you know, drive your life. You know? Why are you spending your money to go somewhere where they're hanging out? It doesn't matter... You know, Charlottesville is a diverse city. It's in Virginia. You know, I don't know the necessary population. I haven't looked it up. I'm being based off of what I've heard. Now, it's Virginia is an open gun state. That's why you saw these these pig fucking snot balls walking around with assault weapons and shotguns. It's legal there. They weren't the National Guard. Okay? Figure it out. Ignore them disappoint them it's like when i get called the n-word or by the fake gang fucks they call me whatever ignore them because they're expecting you to get angry it's, it's like a back and forth they have bullet points and talking points pun intended they know you're going to get upset you say go home nigger ignore them or say hey have a good day say something that will throw them off or don't fucking go that's how you do that. It was terrorism, but that motherfucker did. Driving into a crowd. Yeah, that's that's real tough. Clannered. Skinnered. Fuck them the way they don't like it. Ignore them. You're making them happy. And yes, they're Trumper supporters. Figure it out. And he won't even have the balls to tweet. That was negative. The vice president did. And he may have done it on his own. We don't know. Who cares? Ignore them. That's all you have to do. It's easier said than done. Yes, it's upsetting. Yes, there was oppression 200 plus years ago. And we're very diverse now, this country. Okay? But they have the right to speak and say whatever the fuck they want. As long as they're not harming anybody. That's like a black guy, uh, a group of black people can say whatever the fuck they want here in America okay ignore them they'll still be yelling and ranting and raving they'll go outside of another town hall or whatever they do and there's nobody there or 20 protesters instead of thousands they're gonna scratch their nuts before they have their sister lick them and go what the fuck is going around here I tell you what see they're happy now ignore them all right Oh, one last thing. The way you keep these frit fucking cock McFarlane urds away from you, you hold a job application up. It will scare the shit from them. They won't come around you then. Okay? Ignore them.